a backflip save, Ronaldo tearing the net with his shot, a volleyball punch by a keeper, a throw-in off the keeper's back and a pitch invasion by various animals. Sounds interesting? Then you'll surely enjoy this video brought to you by Gold24, so get ready for another compilation of one in a billion moments in football. But before we begin, there's our question to you. Which one of these players was given a ban and a solid fine for comments in his autobiography? Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Joey Barton, Rio Ferdinand, Roy Keane. Please leave your answers in the comments and now let's get into it. Let's start with this unusual throw made by the Syrian goalkeeper Ibrahim Alma in a match against Japan. Instead of going for an ordinary throw, the keeper did it in a volleyball fashion, tossed the ball in the air with his left hand and punched it with all his strength with his right. The ball flew so high that the cameras lost it for a moment until it landed right inside the center circle. It's no secret that Lionel Messi sometimes feels sick during matches, but not that long ago, in 2017, it happened to a linesman in a Scottish Premier League game. The Kilmanock footballer was about to take a corner, but noticed the linesman feeling unwell and asked if he was alright. The linesman was holding his stomach and was clearly not alright, and once the referee came up to him, he suddenly turned away and vomited on the pitch. The referee, Craig Thompson, however, managed to lighten things up. He reached for a red card and showed it to his assistant. As for the fans, they also tried to cheer him up with a loud round of applause. And how do you like this save? In case you thought that was real, we have to disappoint you. It's just an advertisement for a well-known British betting website, though a very realistic one. A ref showing two or more red cards at once is quite a common thing in football. It usually happens when a brutal fall by one player is followed by a massive brawl. But this story from League One was something special. 78 minutes in, Charlie Kelman and Paddy Lane, who were both chasing the ball, went for a tackle and fell on the ground injured the next moment. It was indeed a harsh tackle from both players, but which one was to be punished? While the teams were arguing, the referee came up with a simple decision. Both Charlie and Paddy were given a red. Even the ex Leicester coach Ian Holloway found that shocking. I have never ever seen this before. Maybe the ref could have said it's a 50 50, get up and have a yellow card edge, but he's gone by the letter of the law. A similar story took place in the Chelsea Ajax Champions League match. First, Daily Blind was shown a second yellow for his harsh tackle, and then a second later, Joel Veltman's deliberate handball in the box was awarded with a straight red. But two red cards for one fall, such a decision does stand out, as it's something you don't see that often. These late goals scored in the 94th minute was the icing on the cake of the tie league game. It all started with a cross, and two players at once jumped simultaneously as they went for a bicycle kick. While they could have easily slammed into each other, one of them actually managed to take a shot and smash it in. This funny story happened right before a Copa America game. Colombia played Paraguay and the referee gathered the captains to toss a coin, but it fell on the pitch and landed on its side. Just look at everybody laughing, the referee, his assistants and the two captains, Justo Villar and James Rodriguez. If you think you've already seen all kinds of animals invading the pitch, then you are terribly wrong. So how about a rooster that ended up on a football pitch in Israel? Yes, you've got it right, a rooster. And unlike this cow, who only ran down the wing, pretending it was Gareth Bale, these roosters seem to have both Mbappé's pace and Messi's dribbling. First, he ran around the stadium stuff members, then made another circle as the steward got beaten with pace and fell to the ground. The stuff members were chasing the rooster for 20 minutes until the bird was cornered but the intruders' world-class dribbling was too much for them to handle. The rooster somehow escaped from them and once again broke into the pitch. It all could have lasted for hours, but the rooster eventually decided to have mercy on them and leave the pitch voluntarily. Football referees are often criticized for their mistakes that may determine the outcome of the whole game, but we can as well recall a bunch of tragic comic stories involving referees. One of them took place in Peru. The leading sporting crystal, who hadn't lost a single league game at that point, played Juan Aurich. 
The score was 2-2 and Sporting were to take a corner. After their poor attempt, the keeper got the ball and tried to send it forward, but hit the referee, who unwillingly made a back heel assist to the sporting striker. He was quick to react and made it 3-2. Despite all the objections, the goal stood as the referee didn't see the ball and touched it accidentally. And as a referee is considered a participant, just like footballers, that goal didn't violate any rules and brought victory to the home team. By the way, this rule was changed in 2019, as now the game has to be stopped if the ball touching the referee has an impact. Back in 2011, Real Madrid played a friendly against the Mexican side Guadalajara. And the most memorable thing about this game was Cristiano Ronaldo's penalty. 76 minutes in, Cristiano sent the ball in the bottom corner. But somehow the ball went through the net and rolled further off the pitch. Though the players didn't pay much attention to that, it still looked funny. Since the earliest days of football, fans have been the biggest driving force for their clubs. However, there are times when fans abandon their side, and that happened to Barcelona in the Europa League against Eintracht. The first thing the Blaugrana footballers heard as they stepped on the no-camp pitch was deafening booing. Another thing we could notice was the sea of white shirts on the stands, as it turned out there were as many as 30,000 German fans at no camp that evening. They were all over the stadium. It all started to look ridiculous at some point. The away fans were just too dominant and that made the Barca Ultras leave the stands at half-time, as they refused to come back until the 55th minute. Just listen to the crowd's reaction to Barca's late goal being cancelled. No booing, just celebration. That was unusual to say the least. As it later turned out, the reason for that was Spanish ticket resellers selling thousands of tickets to German fans. As for the following game against Cadiz in La Liga, there were no fans on the No Come North stand, as the Ultras decided to boycott that game in protest. The goal scored by the Norwegian Jonas Samuelsson made it into the Guinness Book of Records. The score was 2-1 in favor of Old Grenland late into the game, and the Tromsø players, including the goalkeeper, went all-out attack. The Old Grenland defender made a clearance and the ball came to the Tromsø player who tried to send it forward but hit Jonas Samuelsson's head. A moment later, the ball went in from 57 meters and 30 centimeters out. By the way, let us know if you would like us to make a video about other football records that hit the Guinness Book. In March 1998, the Sheffield United striker Dean Saunders made the most unusual of all throw-ins, which helped him find an net against Port Vale. His side was 1-0 ahead two minutes before the full-time whistle, and Saunders forced the Port Vale keeper to knock the ball out for a throw-in, and then threw it against his back. It bounced back to Dean, and the striker's first-time finish found the net. As he later admitted, I have already done that on the training ground, but never in an actual game. This Australian league game, which took place in 2019, was stopped due to a bird's injury. A seagull landed on the pitch at the very same moment when the Sydney defender passed the ball to his teammate. The bird got hit with the ball and was unable to leave the pitch. The keeper, Danny Vukovic, called the referee, and the game was immediately stopped. After that, the keeper carried the bird off the pitch to safety where it got held by the stuff member. Luckily, the seagull got well pretty soon and after some time spent watching the game, flew away. In 2018, the Kaiser Chiefs youth showed us the most humiliating attack in the history of football. They were full to ahead, but that wasn't enough for Kaiser Chiefs as they wanted to show their superiority over Platinum Stars, who were unable to win the ball back confused by all the skill moves, stops, cheeky bows and no-look backhill passes. The young Chiefs clearly looked too carried away. Creating chances and scoring wasn't among their priorities anymore, as they only wanted to humiliate their opponents. It all lasted for a minute and a half until the referee finally gave a whistle and the game was over. And what do you think? Is there a place in football for such things? As you can see, there are all sorts of unbelievable events that may happen in football. The thing about them is that they happen once in a lifetime, 
and that is what makes them so unique and memorable. Which one of them do you find the most amazing? Please let us know in the comments. Dear friends, feel free to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button if you enjoyed our video, as that will help its promotion and allow you to get a notification once our new video is out. That's it for today, but there's a bunch of other videos we have on our channel, so don't hesitate to check them out.